Email is one of those things that I think pretty much everybody uses now. Granted, it's much less than tweeting or texting, but I still spend a fair amount of time sending emails and even more time reading through them. And to do that, you need a great mail app. I have to give Apple credit for trying so hard to make the mail app great again, with recent major iOS releases, but it still falls short in form and function from my experience. The mail app that I've been using for the past few months is Outlook, and ironically, it's made by Microsoft. So let's take a look. Signing in with your email accounts is a fantastic experience, and as you can see right here, Outlook basically supports every type of mail account that you could possibly imagine. And the support for multiple accounts is fantastic too, as I'm using four or five together currently. With Outlook, the app is split into five parts or tabs. At the bottom of the screen, and the one you'll be spending the most time on is of course, mail. This is where you will read and send email from, and Outlook allows you to do that with ease. I won't go into too much detail here, just because everything is pretty simple and straightforward. What I do want to talk about is swipe gestures though. My absolute favorite part about Outlook is the fact that you can configure the swipe gestures to your liking. So you have a swipe left and a swipe right that you can configure or change. My personal swipe right will archive and mark the email as read, and my swipe left will set a reminder for when I want to look at that email again. If those don't suit you, then you can see right here on screen that there are quite a few other options to choose from. To switch to a different inbox, view sent mail, your archive, or a number of other varying email folders, you tap or swipe from the left side of the screen and this handy menu will appear and then you can go wherever you want. Now at the bottom of your screen here, there are four additional tabs, but to be completely honest with you, I never touch them. Alright, every once in a while I go into settings and linking Dropbox into the files tab is somewhat useful, but mail is basically the only tab that I ever navigate through. It's where I spend 99.9% .9 of my time with Outlook. If you're fully invested into the Outlook ecosystem, I'm sure that calendar and files and people would be super handy. I just don't personally have a use for them yet. Regardless, there are a lot of options to configure in settings, and that amount of customization and personalization in this app overall is what made me love it so much in the first place. Plus, regular updates through the App Store are an added bonus. If you like Outlook, you can try it for free on the App Store, where it's available for iPhone, iPad, and even the Apple Watch. Sure, the stock app works and you can read your email inside it, but for a truly premium email experience, then I wouldn't be out looking for any other app.